Uh, good morning, everybody, from the Ted Sarandis Studios. It's time for sports. I'm Champ O'Toole. Presented, all, as always, by our friends at Get Amazing Year End Savings up to $12,000 during the Big Finish sales event going on at 495 Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Visit 495jeep.com. We start the NBA on this Friday morning, just a couple of days away from Santa delivering toys to all the little boys and girls across this beautiful round planet we call Earth. But in the Big Apple last night, it was Michael Beasley delivering for the New York Knicks. Kyrie for three. Got it. Well, that was one of the good moments last night for Kyrie and the Celtics, but they lost in New York. They fall to the Knicks. Celtics and Bulls tomorrow at the Garden. On the ice, the Bruins host the Winnipeg Jets over at the Garden. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Charlie McAvoy. Happy birthday to you. McAvoy in on Hellebuck. McAvoy fire scores. And the Boston Bruins will defeat the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, he only turned 21, so give, give that guy a couple slices of the old uh, birthday cake. Bruins, thanks to the birthday boy, get it done. 21's legal. 2-1 over the Winnipeg Jets. College football, don't call it the Sarsaparilla Bowl. <laughs> it was the Gasparilla Bowl, and it was all Temple last night over what? FIU. Newtown wants six. He wants Jennings. Who makes the catch? There is a flag. It's going to be on Brad Muhammad. And Adonis Jennings somehow made the catch. What a win last night for Temple in the uh, great bowl season. Love the college bowl season. These kids do it for the, they'll get paid. They do it the right way. They do it for the love of the game. They get the academics. They get the football. You get the bowl games, and you get it all right here. How about next week, the Pinstripe Bowl? Boston College and Steven Osio's Eagles, they'll go bowling in New York. It's the Pinstripe Bowl against Iowa coach Adonisio. On the big matchup everyone's talking about here in Boston next week. This is the theme to Mutt's show. The theme to Planet Monkey. That's not, that's not, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, 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 let Chip. I'm sorry, I haven't met, is it Chip or Champ? I'm sorry. Uh, it's Champ. Champ, where are you from? Uh, from uh, Central Connecticut. Okay, where'd you go to college, Champ? I went to uh, Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Uh, are you married? I'm not married, I'm no. a virgin. <laughs> Coach. I've never had sex in my life. <laughs> Let's go back to uh, Coach. You want to hear from Coach Adazio? I want to hear from Coach Adazio. It's a big game next week against Iowa. Okay, let's uh, hear that. Very, very tough team. Physical, tough team. Uh, special teams are very, very sound. Uh, this is a good football team. A well-coached team, and uh, they're going to play hard. It's going to be a physical game. Um, I think both teams are, are, are fundamentally sound. Both teams are going to play with a physical edge and a mentality. Ken, something wrong with the audio back there. I'm hearing uh, some sort of animal noises. <laughs> over this. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, let's do some college basketball because college hoop these days is hot. Locally, it was Harvard past Boston University last night, 74-63. That's what the band sounded like over there at BU. Tanji Joby love his game. Uh, those crazy catabouts, Vermont, they beat Quinnipiac 80-73. I love the mid-majors. I want to go back a couple of nights, Ken, if we could. The country's still buzzing over Waffer's big Ooh, Jerry upset Callahan is in this. of yeah, North big. Carolina. Yes. Well, let's hear the I call. Ask you, Steve. I, I'm not as, as confident as you are. They're the best team in the American League. I have a lot of respect for Texas. They don't steal a lot of bases, but they do manufacture runs. <laughs> and a third, be- third worst record. That's, that does, uh, I, Champ, that does I, not I, sound like the highlights I uh, asked for from the Why uh, did your parents name you Champ? That's uh, not my real name. Oh, what's your real name? Mike Greenberg. Okay. Sorry, Jeff. It's not a great Nathan radio Hoover. name. Look at Roy Williams. Roy Williams already meeting with Mike Young. Hoover inbounds the ball. That's it. The Wofford Terriers have just knocked off the defending national champion, North Carolina Tar Heels. What a win. The college game's so much better. They pass the ball. It's not as much one-on-one. It's a team, team sport. In fact, the only thing better than men's college basketball is is women's college basketball. I've always said that. It's a long update. Uh, Gino Oriema, the long. greatest coach of all time. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Better than Wooden. Yep. Better than Auerbach. Win number 1,000. Win 1,000, excuse me. Win number 1,000? Well, it's a Connecticut school broadcast. <laughs> the- Win number 1,000 in the legendary career of Gino Oriema. Oh, uh, what a win for Gino there at stores. Hey, get get cha- it I'm sorry, I'm sorry, champ. Can I a couple of champ calls? 6177. Let's give the number out, would you, champ? 617 779 7937. 
I'll help me calls will get on champ. Any, uh, champ, on anything else? Anything? Champ was not expected to take phone calls here today. <laughs> champ thought he's working with Sporty. What's your, what's your holiday My schedule? My buddy Sporty asked what's me to come in and do some updates. What's your schedule like, Champ, for the holidays? Uh, I'm working every uh, day between now and uh, New Year's. Okay, sounds good. 2 a.m. to 6, I'm doing updates. <laughs> anything else, Champ, or are we good? Uh, was, got? Guys, yeah, weather snowy today here good, in good, the good. Boston area. The weather brought to you by NewEnglandFatLaws.com. Thank you very much. Champ Tools debut. I'd oh, say interesting. I'd say a mixed reaction on social media. Some pros, some against. I like that. Champ's divisive or divisive. I enjoyed Champ. Really covered all the sports for us. He did. Ken? Excellent. You learn from that. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, thought, I thought Champ could have some more help from the guys on the show with this. Uh, <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, sport doesn't throw them under the bus like that. That's, nope, not, that's nope, not right. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Gary Tagway suggested an idea. These a holes would uh, certainly go along <laughs> with it. Champ is not happy. But this one, the uh, sandbag for the beginning. <laughs> that's not, who, are you, who are you throwing in specifically in this? I would say Kirk Minahan mm-hmm. and uh, Ken Laird and Chris Kirk. Well, what was Sporty R. McKenzie? I spoke to Sporty. He doesn't drive in bad weather, as we know. He's, he's allergic to snow. What would you like Sporty to do in the situation? Like, what was his role going to be? Well, I thought Sporty was going to do a Friday segment into Christmas, and I would do the update before but that. That's why I usually work with Sporty spoke, on the updates. I spoke to Sporty, and Sporty told me you got a busy show today, Holly, The Globe, lots of recap. Probably not the best day for it. Well, that was a couple days ago before a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> okay. You'd suggest that, correct? Uh, yeah, the champ calls were unbelievable, by the way. <laughs> Filling up. Get some many calls as Buck does on the show. <laughs> What's your take on the on, on the show, Champ? Are you a big Kirk not, not a fan of the show. No. What's your favorite show at the station? Uh, Dale and Holly with Rich. I, I would think it would be Champ. <laughs> Do you like Steve from Providence? I don't respond to Steve in Providence questions. <laughs> I don't know why, Champ, that would affect you. I'd like to hear from Steve today, I don't, by the I don't way. Like rude, I don't start. like rude callers to make comments about people's fans. Sure, I understand. Pull through the line till there was only two left. <laughs> you said you were to the stairs. What's that? Oh, fell way behind. The little guy climbed on Santa like a monkey to a vine. Right. What'd you say? What'd you say? Did you say he was in Ted Sarandis' studio at the start? Yes, yeah, this is the Ted oh, Sarandis the Tred- studio. Oh, like it's FAN time did, for sports. Like they did with, with Fred Sess and FAN. Yeah, they named it after Ted. Okay, excellent. Excellent shot. Can we bring Mutt back or is, I did the guy I'll go get him. question? Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Boy, the champ feedback is, is all over the place on social media. Phones won't stop ringing. <laughs> champ better than Mutt, people are saying. <laughs> We're not getting a single champ call? Not one. <laughs> This show was great for the first two hours, no? I mean, great. Awesome. Oh, and then Champ comes. Champ was good, too. Mutt, what'd Champ you think Champ? He tried. He tried. I didn't get a lot you of support Champ in the hallway or no? Uh, he, just, he was down. He walked out of here. I thought Champ did a pretty good, good job. Although he said he was not surprised by the uh, <laughs> lack of support by you know, the people on the show. Well, I, I, I don't. Okay, I'm, that I seems like cutting all too. the highlights for you. I don't know what else. Uh, not you, uh, Champ, Champ. Champ said there were some bad sound effects. There were some uh, chip oh, I sounds. I didn't hear that. There were some monkey sounds there in the background. That's, why would that? That would make no sense. Champ really threw them off. In any way, suggest a monkey. Hold on, callers. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I want full lines. On, I, I, I can't even have the heart to do it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I just don't. Here, we can do this here before we get back to Holly and the Globe. Callers, hang on. We'll get to you guys. Can you play this game for me? Can you amuse me and do this? Give me the, the, the lineups over the holidays. Oh, I can do that. Yes. All right, let's so do that. Maybe Mutt's we'll line up segment. rankings. Mutt's been teasing this for forever. The holiday... So while you know you guys are listening right now, good morning. It's been a great show so far, by the way. I don't say it often. I really went at Holly as he went at me yesterday. Ben Volan was uh, was was feisty. Had some fun recapping the dinner. We'll dinner do that again. Champ O'Toole sure retired. I agree. Made his uh, debut, much like Tom Brady. Uh, ben Volan thinks Champ O'Toole should retire. 